What's up guys, this is Cody here. And as you guys know, I like to play games. Now of course I don't get to play as many games as I used to, but I definitely still get some gaming in on my downtime. Now what I'm gonna be showing you in this video is actually how to play any game that's on your PC, on your iPhone, completely free. Now if you're on an Android device, the setup is very similar to what I'm gonna be going through here, but you will need a different application from what you get on iOS. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link in the description below for you guys. So before we get started, there's gonna be a few things that you have to have. First of all, you obviously need a PC with games on it. Second, you want some of those games to have controller support. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to play those games on your iPhone because you can't use a mouse and keyboard on your iPhone. Third, you're actually gonna want a pretty quick internet connection. Now, I don't know what the threshold is of how fast it needs to be in order for this to work very smoothly, I can tell you what I have, which is 200 megs down, which is pretty quick, and it works absolutely flawlessly. There's literally no lag, input lag, or latency whatsoever when I've tested this out on multiple games. Now, if you have those three things, the last thing that you need is an NVIDIA graphics card. Now, if you don't know if you have an NVIDIA graphics card or you don't know what a graphics card is, I'll put a little short tutorial in the description below for you guys to check to see what type of graphics card you have. It could be AMD, could be Nvidia, could be something else. But in order for this tutorial to work, you actually have to have an Nvidia graphics card because we're gonna be using the Nvidia game streaming feature. Now I'll do a little bit of research here as well and I'll see if you can actually do this with an AMD graphics card. And if you can, I'll put a link in the description below you guys can check out. But now let me go ahead and show you how easy it is to set this up. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do on your iPhone is download an app called Moonlight. I'll put a link in the description below. But then once you download that, go ahead and open it up and you'll get this screen right here. This is basically going to show you your hosts or your PC. So if your PC is turned on, it should go ahead and recognize it right here. Now, it's normally gonna say whatever the name of your PC is and it's gonna say not paired and then it's gonna say online. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is pair your iPhone to your PC. It's really simple. All you do is tap on your PC and then it's going to give you four digit code and then all you have to do is enter that on your PC. Very simple and straightforward. At that point, all you wanna do is tap on your PC once it's paired and then it's going to give you all the games that you have installed on that PC. Now, like I said before, all of these games aren't going to have controller support. So you can either check to see if they do like within Steam or you can just test it out yourself. And before you actually hop into a game, one thing you want to consider is do you have one of these? Basically an iOS controller that's going to work with your iPhone. If you do, then this is going to be a whole lot better experience. If you don't, I recommend getting one if you want to use this. Otherwise, your, all your controls are going to be on your screen and it's kind of cumbersome. But if we go ahead and put the controller aside, the next thing that you want to look at is this right here. So if you swipe over, you'll see a little arrow right here and you'll actually see uh, how fast your bitrate is. You also have a frame rate, your resolution, and your on-screen control. So of course, if you don't even have a 1080p screen, if you're not using a uh, 6S Plus or a 6 Plus or the more newer models of the iPhone, then I would go ahead and bump it down to the 720p. Obviously, if you're having frame rate issues, bump it down to 30 hertz. And if you don't have controls or a controller, then you would definitely wanna do something like auto or full. Now, one thing to keep in mind before you launch a game is you wanna put this into landscape mode before you launch it. Otherwise, it's gonna play the game in portrait mode, and then when you switch to landscape mode, it's gonna show only like half the screen. It's gonna jack up. So just put it in landscape mode, and I'm actually gonna dock this in my controller right now, and then I'm going to open this up. So we'll go ahead and open up Brothers, and this is going to launch directly from my PC, and you can see how fast it's loading and streaming directly to my iPhone. Now you'll notice some controls here, and that's because I don't have an L3 button, which is the press on the joystick, as well as an R3 button right here. So you'll also notice I need to press start, which I don't have, so I just tap start right here. But at this point, I don't need these controllers anymore, so if I wanted to, I can just go back to that menu and turn it off. But just to show you that this is working perfectly well, you can see that I can continue my game, and it should go ahead and load right up, as you can see right there. This is actually a really cool game. I highly recommend it if you guys haven't heard of it. It's really cool. You actually control both of these brothers at the same time using the left and right joysticks, which is actually pretty cool. Now also here in our library, you can actually open up Steam. So if we open this up, 
you can see that I actually already have it running, so I'm gonna go ahead and resume the application. And then you can see here that we can actually go into uh, our Steam and check out our games and our games that our controller supported. So if we go into our games, click on that, and then you can actually go over here to filter games and then go to controller supported and filter them just like that. That way you don't have to worry about having to look up every single game that has controller support. You can just filter them just like that. And if you wanna go all out, you can actually hook it up to your iPad and then hook up a Bluetooth speaker to your iPad for a much more grandioso experience. <laughs> and you can just see how good those graphics look on that iPad. I mean, it's straight up awesome. Now, if you guys wanna check out the gaming controller that I used in this video, I'll be sure to put a link in the description below for you guys. I basically just did some quick Googling and saw that it was the most reviewed and most loved uh, controller for iOS, so that's why I picked it up. But if you plan on using this for your iPhone or your iPad, I definitely recommend picking up a controller. But other than that, that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And of course, share this video with your gaming buddies because I know that they wanna know about this. All right, guys, if you want to see more of my videos, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.